hello students how are you so in the last video of class 7th we have completed acid bases and salt i hope uh, you understood it you have come make the notes and completed the exercise also the next chapter and the topic that we are going to start is physical and chemical changes okay students okay you know students that there are certain changes taking place in our surrounding okay they may be related to the change in size shape color smell or whatever it be okay so whenever one or more properties of a substance become different we say that a change has taken place in it okay all substances have certain properties such as state size shape color smell temperature composition and structure etc when one or more properties of a substance become different we say that a change has taken place in it okay now for example let me take a example of melting of ice melting of ice is a common change around us ice is a solid whereas water is a liquid so you can say that the state change has taken place okay so the melting of ice involves a change in state from solid state to the liquid state okay or i can say the boiling of water now here water converts into the gaseous state so the boiling of water involves change in state from liquid to gaseous state okay student so whenever there is a change in size shape color smell temperature composition and structure etc then we say that a change has taken place okay now there will be certain uh, different types of work with uh, changes when we will be saying physical and chemical okay we will be studying later in the chapter when we will say a change is physical and when we'll say a change is chemical okay let's take a look at some of the changes observed by us in our everyday life you all have already noticed the changes see the first one formation of curd from milk you know that uh, a small amount of curd if added to milk then it can convert the milk into curd okay second is cooking of food general phenomena you boil the food some vegetables are boiled then cooked okay then third is burning of fuels you know it is also a change because the fuel changes from its composition okay it changes its composition then fourth is drying of clothes fifth ripening of fruits there is certain hormones responsible for the ripening of fruits and sixth is rusting of iron you have seen that uh, <clears throat> on the iron objects after years many years when they are when they are in contact with air and water or you can say moisture then a rust formation takes place okay that iron material gets corroded okay that process is called rusting of iron okay students so these uh, were certain changes that are observed by us in our daily life again i will say whenever there is a change in anything size shape color smell temperature composition etc then we can say that change has taken place in it okay students very important thing the change in a substance does not occur on its own okay the change that we are talking about whether it is about say uh, shape size etc it does not occur on its own it needs a certain medium or it needs certain push to happen there is always a cause which brings about a change in a substance ice does not melt on its own to form water ice must be given some heat to melt and change into water thus heat is the cause of the change of state of ice from solid to liquid okay now it is saying the change in a substance does not occur on its own and there is a cause for it definitely when ice ice the uh, solid form of water <coughs> ice is at 0 degree celsius whenever you increase the temperature it means you are increasing the heat and as soon as the temperature increases from 0 degree celsius to 1 2 3 and so on then the ice starts melting and it converts into the liquid state so how it is converting because you are increasing the temperature and by increasing the temperature what you are providing you are providing the heat similarly if i say that if you are boiling the water what are, what you do when you boil the water you take the water in a pan and you put it on the stove gas or heater okay then what happens Uh, slowly slowly the temperature of the water increases and when it reaches to 100 degrees celsius we know that it is the boiling point of the water 
so when it reaches to 100 degree celsius then the water starts boiling okay there is also a change taking place and how it is take, taking place it is changing from liquid to gas and how it is changing with the help of heat because we have increased the temperature and we are giving the heat to the water okay sometimes opposite process also can be done but there also we have to put a cause means without cause it can't be okay you have to if you are giving energy then you have to take the energy also okay both processes can be because you know if ice can be melted then water can again be converted to ice okay we will be discussing in further okay i hope it is clear now changes okay there are two uh, types of changes mainly physical and chemical change okay students okay so the first one that will be starting will be is physical change those change in which no new substances are formed are called physical changes very important definition students okay uh, we will be studying first physical changes then chemical changes okay we will be doing it one by one but very important definition those changes in which no new substances are formed are called physical changes the change in state size shape and color of a substance are physical changes okay we discuss a lot more properties okay composition temperature etc but the changes in state size shape and color of a substance are physical changes the properties such as state size shape of a substance are called its physical property getting students very important thing is that no new substance are formed okay the main criteria for deciding a physical change is that there is no new substance formed then only it will called a physical change if a new substance is formed then it is called a chemical change okay okay students so those changes in which a substance undergoes changes in its physical properties are called physical changes okay now very important the important characteristics of physical changes are as follows okay first is we have told you in the definition that no new substance is formed in a physical change the important characteristic of physical change is that first a no new substance is formed in a physical change second a physical change is temporary change and it can be easily reversed okay there are two kinds of changes permanent and temporary permanent means it cannot be re reversed once done it cannot be brought back to its original form and temporary change that if change they can be brought back to their original form okay they can be easily reversed so example that comes to our mind is ice means the conversion of state of water if ice can be melted then it can also be converted back to ice again by decreasing the temperature okay if ice converts to liquid then that liquid can also be freeze, frozen again okay at 0 degree celsius third very little energy is either absorbed or evolved in a physical change okay fourth a temporary change in color may take place in a physical change this is optional okay the color change may take place or may not take place okay sometimes we will also study the color change taking place in a chemical change okay so this is a temporary change may uh, in color may take place okay main pro important characteristics are no new substances is formed in a physical change a physical change is a temporary change and it can easily be reversed very little energy is either absorbed or evolved in a physical change okay so now let's uh, start with the examples of physical change okay students so these are the examples first one melting of ice to form water already discussed then again freezing of water that is opposite of that boiling of water also discussed condensation of steam means from water vapor to liquid okay then evaporation of water condensation of water vapor again to form liquid cutting of cloth getting it soon cutting of cloth it is a physical change then conversion of chalk stick into chalk dust this we will be discussing further breaking of glass tumbler breaking of a wooden stick cutting of a log of wood drying of wet clothes dissolving salt in water to make salt solution dissolving sugar in water okay glowing of an electric bulb stretching of a rubber band grinding of a substance hammering of metals to form thin sheets 
formation of clouds stretching metals to form wires okay students so let's start by melting of ice and freezing of water the first example you can see that solid water that is ice that uh, when it melts that process called melting it converts to water and the process requires energy okay and if we do the opposite phenomena means liquid water to ice we are freezing it that process releases the energy okay because in comparison to ice liquid wa water has definitely liquid has more energy so we have to decrease the energy so that the en uh, the particles can come closer to each other okay as in solid liquid and gas we have studied the particles of solid are very closely packed liquids they have spaces between them and gases are very far away from them so if we have to bring the particles closer liquid to solid then what we have to do we have to decrease their energy okay so then they can come close to each other so the melting process requires energy and the freezing process releases energy okay take some ice in a beaker and keep it aside for some time we will see that ice melts to form water the ice kept in beaker receives heat from the surrounding air to melt and form water okay now it receives heat from surrounding definitely you know the temperature of surrounding will be greater than 0 degree celsius okay the average temperature is more okay i am not talking about some colder countries but general about any place in india okay the average temperature will be greater than it so easily if you keep the ice outside the refrigerator or the freezer then it can easily melt how by absorbing the heat from the surrounding okay i told you the melting is the process in which heat is absorbed and when opposite when water converts to ice then the heat is released okay now next though ice and water look different they are both made of water molecules very important okay no new substance is formed during the melting of ice that is only a change of state from solid to liquid takes place during melting of ice okay see it is different ice and water looks like different but they are both made up of water molecules liquid water is also water molecules and solid that ice is also made up of water molecules okay so no new substance is formed during the melting of ice only a change of state is there so melting of ice is a physical change okay now next the change which occurs during melting of ice to form water can be reversed easily by freezing the water to form ice again i told you in the important characteristics of physical changes that these changes are temporary and can be easily reversed you can see the change which occurs during the melting of ice to form water can be reversed easily by freezing the water to form ice again again only a change in state takes place during freezing of water to form ice okay but no new substance is formed again because both the form of water water molecules okay so the freezing of water is also a physical change okay so <coughs> if we try to <coughs> include all these in a single term then we can say that change of state of water that is a physical change okay then all the states will come then melting will come also freezing will come boiling evaporation condensation all the processes will cover under change of state okay students so i hope then boiling of water and condensation of steam is also clear to you see what it is saying take some water in hard glass beaker and heat it by using a burner till it starts boiling when the water starts boiling we can see the steam rising from the surface of hot water water is a liquid whereas steam is a gas so during the boiling of water only a change in state has taken place from liquid to gas though water and steam look different they are both made of water molecules we have discussed this no new substance is formed so boiling of water is a physical change okay very important question may be asked why boiling of water is a physical change why melting of ice is a physical change okay and similarly during the condensation steam there is only a change in state from gaseous to liquid but no new substance is formed so condensation is also a physical change of steam to form water now another one is chalk stick and chalk dust now conversion of chalk stick that your teacher used to write on the blackboard 
into chalk dust is a physical change because both the chalk stick and chalk dust are the just the same substance only that their size is different okay what you have done you have crushed if the chalk is crushed the molecules are same okay there is no new substances formed okay they are just the same substance but only the thing that is different is their size initially that chalk piece was chalk stick was bigger in size in comparison to that chalk dust particles okay no new substances formed during the conversion of chalk stick into chalk dust so that's why it is a physical change okay now what we do we take a chalk dust and add little water to it to make a thick paste of chalk dust this thick paste of chalk dust can be molded into chalk stick again okay again and then dried in this way we can we can get back the original chalk stick from the chalk dust so again you can see the process has been reversed we studied in the important characteristic of physical changes that the changes can be reversed okay getting students so the ch uh, chalk dust into sorry chalk stick into chalk dust is also a physical change getting now making of a solution next is uh, making of a solution no new chemical substance has been formed by dissolving common salt in water to make salt solution so dissolving the salt in water to make salt solution is a physical change okay students now it may look like that a substance has changed because if you dissolve salt in water you may find that a new substance is formed but is it isn't what happens the salt particles go into the space between the liquid particles okay if you compare solid liquid and gas i told you again i told you previously also that solid the space between them is very less very very less okay they are tightly packed the space between the liquids is more as compared to solids they have space between them but gases has more space okay most space between them in comparison to the solid and liquid now that space between liquid particles what happens the salt solution occupy that space okay and get dissolved in it okay what happens if you keep on adding salt keep on adding salt what happens after a certain time or you can say sugar also after a certain interval of time that sugar or salt will stop dissolving okay why because the space between the part water particles is already full now it cannot dissolve more salt in it okay and you also know that uh, that salt can also be recovered again the sugar can also be recovered again okay you know that from the sea water the salt is obtained okay so the process can be reversed also so that's why it is a physical change okay students next one is breaking of a glass tumbler when a glass tumbler breaks it forms many pieces each broken piece of glass tumbler uh, tumbler sorry is still glass so during the breaking of a glass tumbler only the size and shape of glass has changed but no new <coughs> substance has been formed so breaking of a glass tumbler is a physical change okay whenever a glass piece or any glass uh, material is broken what happens that uh, that material breaks into small pieces okay and wh what are those pieces they are only that glass particles or glass molecules okay they are nothing new but only the difference is that the size and the shape of glass has changed okay no new substance has been formed so that's why the breaking of a glass tumbler is also a physical change and not a chemical change okay students so these were few examples that we discussed of physical changes so students all the example that we discussed till now no new substance was formed okay only the changes that were in the size shape and certain characteristics of it okay so because what we studied in the important characteristics of the physical changes that was no new substances formed second it can be easily reversed okay the substance it is temporary change so all the like making of solution or you can say if i start from change of state first we discuss the example of change of state you know uh, when the state was changing from solid to liquid liquid to gas or water the change was only its in its shape size okay the molecules the internal composition of that thing was not changing that was same that was water h2o molecules okay students 
it was same similarly changing all the states th that only there was a change in the physical state physical appearance that how we see it okay but internally the there was no change in its composition during the state change similarly when we talked about the example of chalk dust or chalk stick there was also a physical change it was only just that chalk stick had been crushed into small particles okay it can be again molded into the chalk stick we discussed then making of solution and similarly breaking of glass tumbler glass tumbler okay so these were the example very important example of physical change okay student i hope it is clear to you in the next video we will be starting with the chemical change chemical changes okay again we will be studying their properties different examples of chemical changes okay next video will be very important okay so keep studying students and uh, keep making notes of the chapter that is being taught to you okay and in, uh, stay inside our house stay safe okay thank you